Hello America. My name is Ginger and this is take 27 of the first episode of the Arts and Minds videocast. A wise man recently told me, art is the language of culture and culture is the garden of human behavior. So to me that means the art that we make and see and feel has the power to change everything. It has the power to change the world if we use art powerfully. So Arts and Minds, what is this, who am I, and why are you watching this video? All good questions. Picture this. You're driving down I-5 in bumper to bumper traffic, when all of a sudden, you see this big, bright mural on the side of the highway. Last week, that big warehouse wall was sad and beige and uninspiring, but now it's bright and it's stimulating deep thought. It's interesting. Over the weekend, a group called the Arts and Minds Collective painted that wall. They're a group of grassroots artists and activists committed to using the creative arts to spread their message of liberty and justice for all. The group really got out their angst using brushes and rollers. It united these pro-liberty folks with newbies uh, not typically involved in the conversation. The planning stimulated deep discussion and ideas and it created this sense of camaraderie and community amongst the people who have similar value. The people who see this well now are, are faced with deep thought. And because Arts and Minds did a very thorough marketing and PR blitz, people are talking about this and it's, it's make, making a little bit of action happen. It was a success. This art changed the world, even if it was just a little bit. That wall off the five freeway doesn't really exist, it's just a, it's just a dream, it's just an idea I had here in my paradise-themed basement. But this summer in Portland, Oregon, we are going to make this happen. We're painting a mural. We're getting a group of people together and we are going to take a blank wall and turn it into art that speaks a message. For this first event, we wanted a theme and we realized because there is no greater threat to our liberty than the mass incarceration of our citizenry. The theme of the first mural would be criminal justice reform. As you may know, America has this awful stigma. We house about 5% of the world's population, but we have about 25% of the world's prisoners. Uh, more than China, more than Big Bad Russia, about the same amount as North Korea, presumptively. It is disgusting. The land of the free is locking up our fellow citizens in cages, often for unjust lengths of time and for unjust reasons. And once they've served their time, we often just kick people out back into the world to a host of collateral consequences that are waiting for them. It's, it's disgusting and there's many reasons this is a problem, but I think everyone can agree it's, it's a problem. So this summer in Portland, Oregon, we're, we're making a mural. We are gonna have uh, performers, musicians, poets, storytellers speak speak to this theme while, while we paint. We're gonna find a designer to make an image that we can gather around and paint by numbers and just celebrate the need for criminal justice reform. It's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited. <laughs> so I'm making this video cast to document the process, document uh, the logistics of everything that's going on. There is a lot to do. We need to find a wall. We need to set a date. We need to get people excited about this idea. We're going to be crowdfunding to make this idea happen. Uh, and we need to get people and partners who are really excited about it. The Arts and Minds, the dream of Arts and Minds is a collective. Uh, this isn't my project. This isn't my organization Spark Freedoms project alone. This is a group effort. So, who are you? Are you excited about this project? Do you want to make art that speaks to people and inspires change? Do you want to come? We're so excited about this project and we hope you are too. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to stop blabbering and blabbering now and let you go on with your day. Uh, please, if you know anyone who'd be interested in this project, send it their way. Send me a message if you have something to share. My field is not criminal justice reform. I'm an artist who is passionate about using art to its fullest potential 
to change the world positively. And this is the direction we're going for this event this summer. So stay tuned. I'll be using this video cast just to fill you all in with what's going on. And we usually probably take place outside my basement. Anyways, goodbye, America, world, internet.